What we have with us here is now, which is a robot that is used in schools to teach kids robotics and and computer, and, and computer science. And Mike here is going to tell me how that happens. So the now robot has been put in schools uh, throughout the world for the last five years. Uh, more than a thousand schools are using now robots in the United States. They're primarily used to teach computer science and programming. Although we've recently launched, uh, we Ro Robots Lab have recently launched a new curriculum that's focused on grade schools. Uh, ages two, uh, grades two to six, where the kids focus on writing and reading uh, with the robot. We use the robot, which grabs, you know, is, grabs the kids' attention and is extremely engaging, to be their little actor. Um, the first day of the program, for example, they have the robot telling their story, and they create a story that the robot will act out on the last day of class. Usually we put them in front of a video camera, and they have an American Idol dance-off, as it were, a, a storytelling competition. So the first day, for example, they'll, we teach the kids how to program enough that they can start to tell a story. Day two, they start adding movement and action, so they get some moves and dances, and now can stand up and walk and dance and do karate chops, um, so they add that into their story. Then we start getting into emotion with adding sound and adding video, uh, lights with the, the various LEDs that he has in his lights and his chest and his legs. So you've got a, a storyteller that can act like Tom Cruise with the full emotion and range of movement and voice changes and sound effects and lights. And obviously kids get really excited to have that much control over devices in their world. And when we look at it, kids are told what to do by their parents and their teachers and they don't really control their own life. When they come into this program, they have their own minion and he will do whatever they tell him to do. At the end of the program, we've taught them programming just so that they can control their minion. They don't care about the computer science, they care about the fun. This is such an exciting time to be in school. I wish I was uh, a five-year or six-year-old now. Obviously. You know, we at Robots Lab have a bunch of things, uh, products like this, where we're taking robotics and allowing kids to learn by manipulating real objects. Instead of having abstract concepts, if you can deal with math and science with a real object, that when you're dealing with angles, you apply it to his arms, for example. You learn angles by looking at his arm movements and how you would have to move, uh, change the angles in the coordinate system to move objects around. It makes it much more fun than just dealing with um, equations on a board, for example. Uh, now is perfectly built for education. We've also taken Pepper into schools and watched how the kids uh, basically barrel hug her and treat her as a substitute teacher. So there's a lot more opportunity.